Sup guys, my name is Electric and welcome back to part 32 of my Pokemon X playthrough. Today we will be going into Geosenge Town. But before we do, the time everyone, but mostly me, has come. Evolving Pikachu. I wonder what happened if you just gave it to him. Oh, nothing you can give it to him. But okay. Anyway, let's go. Whoa, the coloring looks completely different. On my screen, it's like normal light colored, but on here, it looks all dark. Okay, for some odd reason, why did Raichu have a different? Usually, it'd be like, near, near, but that this time is like a bunch of sparks. What? Let's look at him. Exactly. Did they change his cry now or what? That really sucks. I actually liked the cry before. Whatever. Anyway, I was going to Geosinch Town. Well, okay. Did not know you had to completely different like that, but okay. Looks like a nice town, though. Found a timer ball. Lots of items here. Let's go in here. I'm guessing this is the hotel, yep. Welcome to Hotel Marine Snow, located right here in cozy Geosenge Town, the town of stones. Oh, why are you here? And where might you be from? Is that right? All the way from Vanneville Town? Well, it's a pleasure to have you here. That's it? Okay. Huh, hello. You think your Raichu is great too? It makes me happy when other people like the same Pokemon as me. I get curious about people who like different Pokemon than I do. You like my Raichu? Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you. Hey. Talk, let me talk to you. Go off. What happens if I change my Pokemon around? Like, uh, Alucha. Let's switch. Oh, you're just gonna say the same for same thing for every Pokemon, probably. And if you guys didn't notice, you probably didn't, but I caught a different Halucha when at level 20 instead of 19, so yeah. If you guys want the other one, I got a whole bunch of Pokemon up for trade still, so message me or let me know if you want to trade or whatnot. Get out of my way. The Cows region is so very big. Oh, you're a lady. I thought you were like a hard hat worker or something. I bet that... Guys are gonna be here over, over there. Yep, just as I thought. Hey, hey, how's it going, friend? I'm Mr. Bonding, the expert on O powers. No, I've I already know O powers. It's my friend. Let's get started, shall we? It's bonding time. Speed power level one. Speed power increase. Speed stat. Yeah. Mhm. Mm See you around. Okay.
Let's go outside and go further in this town. Hmm. Oh, what? Oh, him. He's like completely red on my screen. Or on yours. Geosinch Town is the town of stones. Okay. Soft sand, nice. Nothing but rocks here, you say? No, no, and you don't get it. This town has nothing else. So it's obvious how amazing the stones are. I think a bird hit our window, I don't know. You're a pretty sophisticated traveler if you're here to check out the monument. Oh, okay. A well, cabin, what's this place? Oh, what? For some reason, a Pokemon will not evolve when it holds an Everstone. I have quite a few of them, so share one as well. A few as well, thank you. Could Pokemon and stones have some kind of connection? Think about it. Some Pokemon even evolve when exposed to Firestone or Waterstone. Do you have any of those stones on you? I need a couple. For my... Well, not now, but later. I hear the history of this area goes back to ancient times. can probably get the details from the guide in the hotel. Not really. They didn't really say anything. Oh, garbage. Check in your garbage. Exactly, that's why. Hmm. Do, 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 do. Oh, another one of those places. Arranging so many stones like that is really impressive. People were amazing 3,000 years ago. This has to be the work of extraterrestrials. There's no other explanation. So in the end, nobody really knows. The world is full of things like that. And in conclusion, the stones on Route 10 are lined up so they connect to Geosenge Town. Silage City's Jim Lear Grant is researching them, but much about these stones remains unknown. Okay. What's up here? I can't go into these houses. Or can I? Probably not. Here, this pipsqueak team player is going to use the stones on Route 10 and a fantastic treasure to make everyone on our team happy. In this world, the ones who have power are the ones who win, the f who win with flair. Oh, what? Oh, hi, Serene. Electric, was someone from Team Flair here just now? Yes. He was here, but he isn't anymore, is he? And the only thing past here is a dead end. Something very weird about Team Flair. Yep, now, okay, now I can go. I can't even get in there. Do, 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 do. Okay, how do I get in there? Oh, there we go. Oh. oh. Geosense Town, Quiet Stones Speak Volumes. Oh, damn. These ancient stones are said to emit a mysterious power. Hmm. So there's this. Hmm. Hey man. Someone wandering for 3,000 years trying to find a Pokemon. I've heard a story about a man like that, but you can't believe everything you hear. Okay. Randomness. Okay, so yeah, there's no way of getting into those houses. Let's go over here. It's full, yeah. Hey, what do you want to do? Take a photo. Alright, 
Oh, I'll make. Oh, I'll take a great photo. Let's move to you. Okay. Attention, the photo taken last time. Still on the SD card. Sent to Global Link to send the photo, please. This game stink. Otherwise, the old one will be overwritten. Yeah, I do not want to overwrite it. So we'll go here later. Let's look at the map. So up there is a dead end, and over here is a flexion cave which goes to Shallow City. Something, there's something in Shallow City that we need. I don't remember what. Hotel, Marine, Snow, and Pokemon Center. Okay. Countless stones line this mysterious path in such numbers and arrays that it seems overwhelming. Well, let's go up to the dead end then. Since we got a bunch of time left. It's an ancient artifact. Hmm, something mysterious about that. Maybe I'm supposed to use a move on it. Drain someone else or already cut someone else's nose. Yeah, like whatever. Rock smash, I knew he could learn. Thunder wave, I knew he could learn. Thief, I didn't know he could learn. Rest, I kind of knew. Protect frustration, I knew. We already know. Okay. Hmm. I don't know what to do. Do I use strength within here? Like rock smash. Maybe rock smash. Can't use that move here. Can't use that move. What about rock smash? Not Hulk smash, rock smash. Okay, no one knows rock smash. What? No. I want Raichu learning it. Shit. No, I don't want Raichu learning Rock Smash. Okay, um. For uh, Amura. Let's teach Amura it, Amura it for right now. Just for now. Icy Wind, Ancient Power, Mist. Take away Mist. We don't need Mist. Mura use rock smash. Nothing works, really. Well, where am I supposed to go? Oh, it's in the middle. Like, there's no other roads. I'm guessing... What? Hmm... Oh, what? They moved. Okay, they have moved. Hey, you, if you want to know more about the stones, come to the hotel. Okay. You saw those huge stones on Route 10, didn't you? Some of the bigger ones are more than 30 feet tall, and there are hundreds of millions of them spanning more than a mile in all. I suppose it's possible that people put up those stones with help from lots of Pokemon. But for what purpose? Why are they there? There are lots of theories about them, of course. Some people think they marked the burial site of warriors from ancient times. 
Others say they were built as family memorials or that they were set up for a ritual to celebrate life. I don't know about all of that though. Personal, personally, I think they might just be a kind of calendar. You see all the time in astronomy studies, ancient cultures use stones to track the movement of the sun. One thing is for sure, those stones are full of mysteries. Many believe that they contain some kind of mysterious power. I just hope it's a bending poke power that is watching over us people in Pokemon. Speaking of which, there are some mysterious stones in the neighboring Shaler City too. One thing is for sure, those stones are full of mysteries. Many believe that they... Oh, yeah. Okay. So we gotta go to the next town. Shaler City. Oh, what? Lucario, what are you doing? Oh, Lucario's back. Oh. Hey, you're that trainer from Route 5. Oof. I'm not exactly sure, but I think Lucario's saying he wants to bow with you. Would you like... Would you bow with us? Say, I have two Lucario, but do you know which is the one that has taken a shine to you? Leader Corina. Lucario. Right, you turn back. Yep. Right, you use return. Well, that's cool how he used it. Good job, right, you. Now let's do Thunderbolt. Damn, right, you. Another Lucario. Oh, I'm keeping Rachu. I want to try all his moves. Discharge. Whoa, his moves are just awesome. Look at that. He just killed him in like one shot. That's awesome. Good job, Rachu. Level 30 Amura. Um. Hmm. Round 60, Icy Winds 55, Ancient Power 60, Rock Smash is 40, Aurora Beam 65, I'll keep, I'll keep all the moves right now, well 31 Pixel. What, what? Not even my ultra-powerful Lucario duo could stand up to you? 8,000 bucks, damn. Usually it would be 4,000, but... Amulet coin, thank you. Okay, now I get it. I see why Lucario likes you so much. So, do you remember that I'm the gym leader of... Gym leader in Shallow City? No, I forgot. Once you get past the cave just beyond here, you'll be there. So stop by and say hello. I don't know why there's a thing. Mirior Way, Route 11. Well, we are not going on to this route yet because we are not... We are not, like, doing that yet. We got a little bit yet, so I guess... Well, we haven't checked in Pokemon Center at all yet, so... There we go. Few people are in here. If you have a Pokemon that is pretty slow, give this one a try. TM66 Payback. The Payback move doubles in power if it goes off after its target makes its move. Nice. Never knew that. These big stones are pretty resistant to weathering, which has made them a symbol, which has made them a symbol of the eternal for many people. Lots of folks even think the stones possess some kind of mysterious power. Did you come here to see the big stones with your Pokemon? Maybe you'll get lucky and the stones will impart some of their power to your Pokemon. 
I hope it imparts to Raichu. Raichu, Raichu is awesome. Just says Raichu a bunch of times. Let's see what they have here. Okay, so they she got they got around the same stuff. Let's sell. Sell some stuff. Mm. I don't even know how the money works to I uh, mean money honey works to be honest, so Nothing. Nothing really worth selling. Right now. So, I think we'll end it off here. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, I probably will because I don't need to go in the bushes down there anymore. I just need the yellow flowers down there and they're way on the other side. So, yeah. Like and favorite if you enjoyed. I don't know why I'm focusing on Bob's screen. Bottom, Bob em. Bottom screen, bottom screen, damn it. Yeah, so like and favorite if you enjoy. Subscribe to be part of Team Chuck today, and I will see you in the next video with our beloved Raichu now. Thanks, everyone. Electric out. And as you can see, my Raichu is down there. Let's, let's, let's pet him a little bit first. Aww. Sounds like Electabuzz instead. Aww. <laughs> I like that face. It's sad. I don't know what he was doing right there. Let's give him the thing I was saving. I'm, I was saving a specific um, thing for him. Let's give it to him now. The rare supreme springberry. He was like, he's like, whoa. Like it when I pet your tail too? I love you too, right, you? That's it that I got right now. That's not one of each. Aw, he, he said hi. Did you see that, guys? That's so cute. Aw, that's so cute. He's being cuter than Pikachu. Watch this. Raichu. Raichu. Ah, uh, see? Hi. That's so cute. Aw, my screen's pretty dirty. Oh, that's so cute. Anyway, uh, I'm sorry, guys, if I held you up a bit, but that, that's just so cute. I didn't get any, I didn't, Pikachu didn't ever say hi to me, surprisingly. And what, what really sucks is that they changed the cry of Raichu. It used to be like, nah, nah, but now it's different. Let's go Pokedex and see what it says about Raichu.
Number 37, Raichu, mouse Pokemon, type electric, height 2 feet 7 inches, weight um, 66.1 pounds. When its electricity builds, its muscles are stimulated and becomes more aggressive than usual. See how heavy he is. Ride you versus ride you. I wonder who's heavier. Definitely. How about let's see evolution. Let's see. Who, obviously, Pikachu is. Anyway, sorry guys, taking up your time in that. Um, in a bonus episode later on, we will do the Pokedexes. Don't worry. Anyway, saving for like the third time in a row. Like and favorite if you enjoyed. Subscribe to be part of Team Shockers today. And I will see you next video. And like if you like Raichu. Like seriously, who doesn't like Raichu? He's way better than Pikachu any day. Third time I said that outro. Anyway, finally guys. Electric out.